Hey, it's K47 here, and I'm over at Blue Mountain with the Arbor Cask. The first thing I want to note is the tip, or the wide nose, it is super poppy, but otherwise it's a medium stiff board, and I wouldn't recommend taking it in the park or off any decent sized jumps. It's supposed to be absolutely impossible to bury in snow, according to all the other videos. That is a lie. I am overweight and a novice rider. I've managed to bury it twice now. Didn't pick my nose up. That was stupid. So, fair warning, that's something you might want to set your bindings back a little more still, or just be mindful about leaning backwards. And I absolutely love slush slashing with this thing. The tail really sinks in deep and allows you to get that surfy feel. I had to come out one more day. So surfy. So much fun. It's awesome for pond skimming too. that I noticed is how stiff the tail is to really dig into the slush. It's awesome. I feel like I have so much more control on this board when I'm in the slush versus any of my other ones. I feel comfortable buttering for the first time in my life. The uh, grip tech on the edges really lets you ride the groomers on those icy days or early mornings before everything starts to melt. I didn't need it a lot, but you really heard that grip tech come into play when I did hit those icy spots. I also would recommend riding a stiffer binding on here. I have a Malavitas and Cartels, and both of them are great bindings, but I found that I get a much faster response time out of the Cartels versus the Malavitas. The other thing that I would like to note is everybody complains about how soft the base is on this board, and although it is soft, I'm not going to lie, I actually hit a rock here and it didn't go to the core. A lot of people were complaining that it did. I hit a tree stump here and it just did put a dent in it, you know what I mean? Like a nice even rut divot the whole way through. But it's not that bad. A little bit of it doesn't affect my handling at all. You guys might also notice a little bit of this board rash going on here. It's especially bad along the front edges. And this was a demo board, so it's got a bunch of miles on it before I even got my hands on it. I'm guessing that's what that's from, but it's just rashy. And it kills my OCD, and it slows me down a little bit, but otherwise it doesn't really seem to affect me that much. The main thing I wanted to say is, although the base is soft, it's not as bad as people were saying. I saw some reviews that a guy was like, oh, I hit a tree root and took a core shot. That dude must have been flying through the woods. Because I clocked myself at about 25 when I hit that rock in a woods trail and I still avoided the tree just in time. Didn't hurt myself and the board got a little scratch, but overall I'm happy. So my theory behind the top sheet marking color choice is pretty simple. The Gooch has been all about backcountry safety recently and this board is designed for PAL. So most people in the quest are going to find themselves further and further removed from civilization looking for on-tracked areas. This is a way to constantly remind you guys to keep it safe while you're out there. Red, stop. Make a plan. Amber, consider the possible consequences for your actions. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And yellow, proceed with caution. Even if you think it's safe now, it may not be later. Life is full of ever-changing variables, and the mountain is no different. Always keep your head on a swivel and be aware of your surroundings. I also would like to point out that this is the 150. I believe they came in two sizes, the 150 and the 145. I'm a really big dude. I ride a 160 mid-wide all the way up to a 163 normal. And when I got on something this small, I found it to be a real game changer for me. It was absolutely amazing going through the woods. The other thing that I really wanted to point out is it is a camber profile, which is super cool and original feeling for some of you old heads out there. You're going to love it. It adds to the pop effect of the nose so much. And 
in general, I think I feel a little more comfortable on it. I know a lot of it is mostly personal opinion. But when I was looking for a short, fat pow board, one of the things that I wanted was it to be camber, and there aren't many out there that are that way. While we're on the subject of shape, I also wanted to go over the boat tail. Best part about this board, you can ride switch if you have to. A lot of short, fat pow boards have been going with the dovetail. And although it looks really cool and increases your overall effective edge, I actually think for pond skimming and slush slashing that this is a little bit better. I did so well in the pond skim, I made it across the 40 foot reservoir with zero issues. And I did well enough that the local news station actually interviewed me and put it on TV. Half the idea today is to look as ridiculous as you possibly can. Yes. Some in costumes like lions and Wonder Woman. Do you feel like a superhero? I, I do. Flying down the mountain. Even T-Rex made an appearance. <laughs> Others simply in tank tops, shorts, and well, their underwear. Some of the bigger mountains out west have hot tubs, but it's warm enough. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about it today. There's only one proper way to close the whole thing out. The pond skim. Some were successful and rode down the mountain in style. Yeah. Others? Uh, not so much. Either way, it's time to hang it up. Till next year. I hope next winter will be just as awesome. Unfortunately, they didn't show me going across the pond. I did really well and I think that very little of it was skill most of it was the board and the overall just general shape of it and how efficient it is at displacing weight across the surface evenly speaking of surface the top sheet on this board is absolutely stunning too I think that anything with a natural wood stained grain is gonna be an instant classic but, you know, some people are going to be naysayers saying how something this bland is going to show nicks and scratches and stuff. But as long as you take care of it, it will look pimping. So it's the end of the season here, if you can't tell by all the birds chirping and the flower petals laying in my yard. There are a few things I forgot to point out on this thing. All arbors have what they call lifted fenders or rised fenders. And... It's essentially, the contact point is curved, so they're lifted up just a hair. And it's not much, you really won't ever notice it unless you're actually scraping the wax off your own board, or when you're riding, it's just considerably less catchy. And that's what significantly contributes to the surfy feeling of these boards. All arbors have them, but on this particular one, the front is definitely larger, more magnified process than it is in the rear or any of the other arbors that I've ever ridden. <clears throat> I also wanted to point out that the edge on this board, because it has those lifted fenders, is not, since it's not as catchy, it definitely is not a great carving board. Yeah, on PAL and slush days, it's not hard to dig in at all but you really have to throw your weight onto it and trust the edge to get it to engage I wish I would have had some good videos of me but unfortunately the only one was the guy behind me who forgot to turn his GoPro on so you're just gonna have to get one and go out and play with it yourself and the last thing that you guys probably already know is these come with a centered base which helps add to the speed I personally beat my own speed record on this bad boy, which is not something I thought it would happen with a short fat pow board, but since it's one of my few boards with the nice centered base that's stiff enough to be able to maintain stability at high speeds, I was able to achieve that today. So if you guys are still with me at this point, I'd imagine you caught on to the fact that I dig this board enough to where I even went out and bought my own. I would give it 4 out of 5 Jerry Skiers. The only reason why it doesn't get a full 5 out of 5 is because I do feel that they should have another production size, maybe a 155, or possibly to fatten up the 150. Although it does have a great surface area, I do feel that a hair more would go a long way.
I'd like to thank you guys for spending the past 10 minutes reviewing this board with me. And as always, board through the pain.